Honeybees are immortal. Honeybees live in what's called a superorganism, which means that an individual honeybee, or even an individual queen, or an individual drone, the boy bee, cannot live by themselves. Therefore, the whole colony, or hive, or nest, whatever you're going to call it, that is the unit of measure. That, therefore, each bee needs that superorganism to live. So when they reproduce, they reproduce the whole colony. So when, if you've ever seen a swarm, that swarm is a reproduction of the entire superorganism, which is one queen, thousands of workers, and a few hundred boys. That is the unit. Now that unit, that superorganism, that colony, can be immortal. Because the queen in there... She is the one laying the eggs, laying the fertilized and unfertilized eggs to carry on that superorganism, that colony. If she starts for any reason to be not doing her job, the other bees, the worker bees in the colony, understand that signal that she's not doing well, and they will replace her. As in they will take steps to get rid of her and take one of her daughters and turn her into the queen. So even though the original queen is gone, she has been usurped and her daughter has taken over. But the colony as a whole is still continuing. This process of replacing the queen to take over the colony, the superorganism, can continue indefinitely. The issue that we have in many countries now are that they're pests and diseases that the bees did not evolve with. Those are the things that are killing the colonies. If they are in their original country, with the original pests and diseases that they know how to fight off themselves, the colony itself will literally continue on. With enough food and enough resources, they are and can be immortal.